an example for others. Now, I have had fulfillment from knowing that I'm being a good steward of the environment. Our gardens at home where we plant more and more food and fruit to make juices and, and so on gives us food security. We've implemented solar photovoltaics, gives us energy security. It also gives us uh, an income stream, which is great for retirement planning. We have an investment, it's on the roof, it's insured, and we get a check from the utility company every month, and I have confidence that energy will always be in demand, and that these uh, independent power producer, renewable energy rider, feed-in tariffs, will be reliable, that we will be able to get rewarded for the investment that we made. So that's another area that um, I've tried to be a good steward because those renewable energies reduce carbon emissions of course which are part of the reason for global warming and sea level rise and all those things. So another area <coughs> that I have endeavored to be a good citizen and to demonstrate uh, environmental sustainability is uh, in permaculture where we do not use chemicals, we use organic fertilizers and pesticides. Miracle Mix is one of the products that we've developed to demonstrate the value of things that would normally be thrown away as a soil amendment. Um, there's a lot of land sitting idle and um, we need to bring it back into production. Barbadian people need to be encouraged to enterprise and uh, we have 270,000 or more Barbadians who can contribute, who want to contribute but the environment is not conducive. Uh, people know that if they take the trouble to plan that chances are they're not going to be able to reap because law lawbreakers come along and um, and take their their hard work and you know it is very uh, depressing right now Barbadians are living in a state of helplessness and hopelessness they don't feel as though they can make any difference. There's no facility for people's opinions to be taken into consideration. And that is sort of the root of the problem, or one of the roots, one root is, is uh, the fact that we're not being educated in a way that um, encourages us to follow our passions. Every, all the educational system caters to every individual student as if they're all the same. We need to be able to uh, provide different types of schooling for children of different aptitudes and um, interests. And there's no reason why we couldn't have a school that is agriculturally centered and another one that may be centered on governance for example so that children who have different ideas can can follow their dreams and then we can educate we can we can educate young people to play important roles in society that are in tune with their um, with their talents rather than trying to educate everyone the same way, to be doctors, lawyers, and, and I think we probably have a glut now of those professions, and not enough uh, young people that are interested in agriculture. Of course, there's so many new things in the agricultural field. There's horticultures and permacultures, and we, we have so much technology there, but we're, we're not really encouraging young people to go that route and um, it's a big uh, shame, it's a shame.